We're here tonight because these trails are ours. It's a taxpayer funded amenity that we are blessed to have in our area. And I just want all of you to know before I turn things over and we kind of keep having this conversation and listening to you all here this evening is that this is an important topic. Our safety is the number one priority for all of us here in this district. Hi, uh, my name is Randy Thomas, and I am not a bicyclist, but I'm a walker on these trails. And I'm curious, what are the rules when the trail comes to a crossroad and there's a stop sign there with a bicycle? Because I can tell you, probably 95% of the bicyclists do not stop. And I'll tell you, the people that are on the Tour de France, those people are scary. They come flying by you as a walker about 30 miles an hour, so I think there needs to be something done about that for the people that walk the trails. Someone's going to get killed on Old Orchard. I almost killed a lady and her daughter the other day. The lady goes right past me, and I roll down the window, and I said, you have a stop sign. She goes, so do you. And then she gave me the finger and continued with her daughter behind her. One thing we need to be careful of is just, just common sense. That's all it is. I went up there on Old Orchard Gregory right before I came here tonight, and I walked up and down it just to kind of take a look around. And I can tell you, the, the cyclists, they're coming up, some of them are coming up and they're just going right through it. Other ones are slowing down and then they're going out thinking that the cars are going to stop for them. So if you get off your bike and you walk across the, the crosswalk and God forbid a car strikes you, obviously the car is going to be at fault. Okay, but if you don't stop and you just shoot across the crosswalk, which is intended for pedestrian activity, and a car hits you, you're most likely going to be at fault. My wife and I and a friend from Wellington decided to ride the trail, inspect the trail towards Georgetown because we had never been on it before. And as we got close to Dairy Farm Road, we heard these cyclists behind us yelling, screaming. So we decided to get off the bikes at the, on the other side of the road after stopping. My wife tried to get on her bike. Another two came by, almost hit her. She panicked, she lost control of the bike. She went down the ravine, face first, into the stone. Her head went into the split rail fence. These maniacs that think this is their trail have got to stop riding the way they ride. And I'd like to direct this issue to these gentlemen up here. These people don't pay any attention to stop signs, trail etiquette, or anything else. They have one thing in mind to go from point A to point B as fast as they can, and if anybody gets in their way, so be it. So I think a police presence at times would be a welcoming sight because if they see some police officers out there, and I think these people have got to be curtailed. I do think the trail is, is for everybody, and that includes people who want to use it for exercise and who want to ride more than five miles per hour. I don't use the trail to take a leisurely ride every day. I use the trail to exercise and I'm going 13, 14, 15 miles an hour and I do abide by the rules. But what I see, I see people walking and riding three abreast. I see people with their dogs. I see people with their strollers. I see little kids that don't know how to ride bikes. I see adults who haven't been on a bike in 20 years and they don't know the rules. I don't want to hit them nor do I want to fall on the ground and hurt myself. So I, I really think there's a bigger issue here. What is the purpose of the trail? And who is the trail for? And I don't want to sign up for the Tour de France, but I do want to ride more than five miles per hour. Since we have a lot of people in our group out on the road and on the trail, this is what we're hearing um, from our friends and neighbors in the city of Lewis. These people on bicycles deserve to be hit. These people on bicycles have no respect for cars. It's Darwinism. Hit a bicyclist, earn two points. If they're upset, earn an extra point. So the animosity between people on foot and people on bicycles and people in cars really needs to stop. It's a beautiful town. We love it here. Together we can work. Together we can share the road. Together we can share the trail and truly make this community retain its unique cultural aspect which is really united you know with beautiful nature we can enjoy it together so please you know we're all just trying to get home safely thank you
And I want to make sure that the ideas that we have to make improvements continue to come from the public, but in collaboration with the best practices that we can put forward of all of us here together tonight. So God bless you, and thanks for coming out tonight. It really meant a lot. Thanks for coming out. We're going to stick around for a little while. Thanks for all of us. Thanks for all of us. Thanks for all of us.